neighbor we haven't introduced you yet tonight. His name is Tucker. Tucker is 15 year old rescue we got. He's a Maltese uh, Schnauzer cross, so they call him a Mauser. They were made for, uh, bred for, shouldn't say made for, um, bred for rodent hunting uh, in France, I believe. So anyways, this is Tucker. You'll be seeing him on a few camping trips for sure. He loves to lay on things, especially this cargo blanket. It's his favorite thing. And uh, anyways, we'll, we'll get to him this summer. is hard at some domestic things here she's big into the crafting ladies if you're into quilting uh, my wife huge into quilting so we just haven't broke down and bought a long arm yet because they cost way too much money right, <laughs> right. yes okay <laughs> so getting to the point of tonight's video actually my intention today was to bring up this piece of hardware um, your pressure relief valve on your water tank um, I was gonna do a how-to video today but the weather did not cooperate so we'll get into too much tonight just wanted to give you an update so you've all seen this hanging out of your trailer this is usually pretty much all you can see of it right back by your hot water tank um, your relief valve it's your manual test valve um, some people think you should test them, some don't. Um, being a power engineer, I have mixed emotions because we do not arbitrarily lift PRVs just for something to do. Um, at the same time, on a, something like this in a trailer, you're sleeping in small, should this malfunction and, and, and not release, then you're, you're gonna have a catastrophe. Uh, the amount of energy stored in that, in that small hot water tank in your trailer uh, believe it or not is enough to probably blow about a third of your trailer uh, to pieces so um, huge huge power there um, they drove that through our brains like crazy in power engineering of course but uh, another thing they do that I don't care for too much see if I can get you to see this is they thread the inside of these and the only reason you would have to thread this inside is because oh it's, it's in my trailer, it's, it's inside the tank like this sticking out and what's going to happen is it's going to relief inside the compartment and you know you're thinking oh I don't want all that blowing into my burner and everything else. I'll tell you what, if you start piping these, every bend creates pressure, creates back pressure and these should be able to relieve maximum capacity right away. So anyways, enough yipping about that, enough, enough teaching tonight on that. Um, I do want to talk a little about the threads. Um, these come with it, it almost looks like a Teflon, there's a seam right there. So it's basically like Teflon tape. Another big misconception is that Teflon tape is a sealant. It is not. Teflon tape is a lubricant. And I know there's going to be people out there who are going to argue with me about that. Um, Google it. <laughs> I guarantee you that 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 it's not it's not a sealant. Um, does it work as a sealant? Yes. You wrap enough times around there and then thread this in. Uh, it's definitely going to be a sealant. Uh, definitely, what I'm going to recommend to you right now is when you're putting any fittings together. Uh, I don't care if they're water or gas. Should you feel confident enough and educated enough to plumb gas lines in your trailer or your RV? Um, Tape and dope, my industry, oil field guy, mm, pipe fitters, some of the best journeyman pipe fitters taught me that. And tape it, that gives you the lubrication to get it in and dope it. So you'll use a PTFE, which is a uh, liquid Teflon. So you don't wanna have this go in and it gets tight and then it's aiming like this instead of aiming down. Um, if you use tape and dope, you have the ability to stop it's just getting good and snug, but you don't want to over, you don't want to strip your threads and you get to the straight down position. 
Uh, see the arrow? Straight down position. Now you can just stop and the tape will have got you buried in deep enough and the dope that you put on there, um, that's going to be your sealant. You actually want to use the pipe sealant. Um, so I would not recommend that you do anything more than put a smear in your finger and drag it around just simply because you don't want all that Teflon inside your hot water tank. Um, you can plug things up and could sit in the blob in the bottom. So really conservative. Um, conservative is the word for the day today. So anyways, sorry I didn't get to actually go and show you how to install this today, but that'll be the next video when the weather's better. Beautiful sunny day, 100 mile an hour wind, exaggerating, 80 kilometer an hour wind for Canadian. And, uh, and then it started snowing and got crappy out, so I guess we won't worry about that today. Anyway, just wanted to give you a little preview on what's coming up and try out our new intro on you. So, hey, please feel free to uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, things are only going to get better here at uh, Fifth Wheel and Food and Fixin' um, as we get learn more about video and learn how to edit and, and come up with more interesting content as the weather gets better. So have a great night. Stay safe.